question number seven we have a positive question here so this is an rl series circuit okay so the armless voltage of the inductor is 62.8 volt at 50 hertz frequency the bus to inductor inductance is 0.8 henry and an unknown resistor so we have to determine the resistance of the resistor Okay, so basically, this one is the phase angle. Okay, so first, kita perlu cari resistance of the resistor. So how do we find the resistance of the resistor is we are going to apply the... We're going to solve this using the phase angle. So how do we do this? We know that the phase angle is tangent phi xl minus xc over r. So that is kita tahu. Uh, the value of xc will be equal to 0. Kenapa pula di sini akan equal to 0? Sebab, oh, no, no, okay. Redo that, redo that. Basically, we are going to use the phase angle untuk inductor, which is just basically xl over r, kan? Okay? So, dari sini kita boleh tahu, sebenarnya kita boleh cari the value of r if we are going to use, if we have this two information here, which we have because we already have the phase angle, we just have to find the inductive reactance so the inductive reactance is just 2 pi fl which will be 2 pi f is 50 l is 6 eh, sorry 0 0.8 so xl the inductive reactance is actually going to be equal to 80 pi ohm okay uh let me just check yeah right so this will then we arrange for R, this will be equal to tangent phi, which will be 80 pi tangent phi, which is, what is the value of phi? It is 35, 35 degree, so 35 here. So the value of resistance is equal to 359 ohm, right? So that is the value of resistor. Next, we have to calculate the peak voltage of the AC source. Okay, so the peak voltage is going to be V0. Lah. Okay, so how do we find V0? We are going to solve it by either using VRMS ataupun. Uh, yeah, basically, we have to solve it using VRMS. Lah, okay, so we know that uh, VRMS is going to be equal to v note over z2 here so v note is vrms z2 so how do we find vrms so sekarang ni vrms ni sekarang kita boleh just we kita boleh cari dia guna irms z okay so do we have the value of z already uh no we do not have the value of z so we have to find the value of z and then we have to find the value of IRMS. So first, kita cari IRMS dulu lah. Okay, so how do we find the value of IRMS is since we already have the voltage across the inductor. Oh, this is actually inductor. Sorry, nanti kita tersalah pula. Okay, so the voltage across the inductor will have the value of RMS current. Kan? Okay, so sekarang ni XL kita sudah cari tadi. So we just have to find RMS current. So that is VRMS for the for the inductor divided by XL. So sekarang ni inductive reactance kita sudah ada 80 pi. Okay. So sekarang ni this is 80 pi. The voltage across the inductor is 62.8. So this is the RMS current which will be equal to 0.2. 5 ampere. Okay, so remember the current in series is equal. So that's why kita boleh guna the current across the inductor will be equal to the current across the whole circuit. Alright, so sekarang kita sudah ada IRMS. Sekarang kita perlu cari Z pula. So Z is going to be equal to R square plus XL square. Square root there. So R yang kita cari tadi which is 359 XL is 80 pi. Square root this, you will then get the impedance to be equal to 438 ohm. So sekarang kita sudah ada 
Z kita sudah ada IRMS so bolehlah kita substitute dalam kita punya equation of VRMS. So IRMS is 0.25 Z is 438. So dapat the VRMS to be equal to eh tak sa calculate point to oh okay 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 never mind so sekarang ni v note is gonna be equal to rms voltage darab dengan so two which will then give you the peak voltage to be equal to 155 volt all right okay so that is the solution for roman two next we have to find the average power So for the average power, we know that this is PFV equal to VRMS IRMS cos V. Okay. So the phase angle semua tu kena bagi sudah VRMS pun kita sudah calculate. That is, uh, that is basically point two five times four three eight, which is one zero nine point five. Okay, so that is one zero nine point five volt. Mana satu? Okay, so I'm just gonna substitute it in here. IRMS is point two five. Cos thirty five degree. So the average power is gonna be equal to. Let me just calculate it real quick. So it's gonna be equal to twenty two point four. Watt. Okay, so that is the average power. <sighs> okay, so next question B. If the resistor is removed from the circuit, draw the variation of current and voltage against time on the same labeled graph. Okay, so sekarang ni this is an RL circuit. So if the resistor is removed, this is will be this will be a Pure inductor punya circuit. Okay, so saya malas melukis. Kita just refer to our notes. So for a pure inductor circuit, dia punya graph will be looking something like this lah. Okay, so basically kalau kita remove the resistor, dia akan jadi pure inductor punya circuit. So apa yang kamu buat is kamu just lukis ni balik. Tapi kamu just perlu label this is what, this is what. Okay, so basically this is V not. Ini adalah I not lah. Alright. All right. Um. Yeah. So that is the solution for our. Oh wait, for the period pula kamu akan ikut based on the hertz lah. Okay. So period dia berapa? This is basically one over f. Okay, kamu akan dapat berapa lah period untuk dapat complete satu cycle. Kamu lukis untuk satu cycle je pun boleh. Alright, so that is the solution for question number 7.